Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has uh, stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are destroyed mental and being dismantled as we speak as i have said so shall it be uh real quickly there's someone out there i'm not sure why i'm seeing your daughter or this could be your granddaughter um so today i was sitting and i had a vision of a little girl maybe between the ages of six to ten years old and when i was trying to kind of guess her age the the number eight came to mind um so she could be uh eight years old um, but when I saw her, she was sitting outside kind of looking up at you. I'm not sure who you are, who she's looking at because I didn't see the second person. Um, but what I got was that your daughter really loves you. She really likes being around you. And you're like the center of your daughter's world or she could be your granddaughter. Um, I don't know if you're trying to get your daughter out of a sticky situation or there's something going on with the other parent, whatever it is. Is this a spider? A jumping spider? Baby, what are you doing over here? Um, I don't know if you're trying to get her out of a sticky situation, some type of unhealthy environment, but you two will make it out of there. Um, the little girl I saw was a very dark uh, complexion, very beautiful girl. Um, <clears throat> if you want to know, like, the complexion, like, those Senegalese, uh, Sudanese, uh, people, they're very, very beautiful, dark, smooth, smooth skin, and she had her hair braided in cornrows. Now, I don't know if she has, like, a gap, or maybe one of her teeth came out, but she was looking up and smiling at you, at you. it was just beautiful, like, just heartwarming. Um, so she really cherishes you. So I don't know if you two are going through something right now, but it'll be resolved um, in due time. You may be going through some type of blockages or something like that right now. Um, let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading. I've been having someone that does not want me posting, so they've been tampering with my equipment behind the scenes. Um, somehow every every uh, device I get, someone is able to get a hold of it and get into it. There's someone out here with a secret. Um, there's a king of source out here that's invading people's privacies and things like that. So I don't know what he thinks he's going to get away with, but I guess time will tell. But let's go ahead and get into this time re um, tarot reading. There's a king of pentacles out here that may be paying to have someone trapped in something. Uh, someone is, uh, um, so someone may have taken some type of oath. Uh, made some type of agreement is bonded to something and it's like it's either him or you but someone is stuck stuck in some type of karmic contract with either an institution in a relationship a business whatever this is they want to have a new beginning but it's at the detriment of you uh so this person may be paying like a toxic couple karmic couple karmic family or something like that to trap you um, in a situation to block you from connecting with someone. So they may be going to like a high priestess who's like a queen of swords. I don't know if this person is a genuine high priestess or this is someone that operates from their lower energy. Uh, I'm sure we're going to find out. But this man is very obsessed. Uh, something has gotten really personal for him. Um, this could be someone that also maybe in the beginning he didn't quite care much for you, but now something has taken some type of turn and he has become extremely obsessed with you. He may be part of a toxic family that's very greedy. Uh, they may be doing something for money behind the scenes. It's like they're trying to block your abundance and they're losing everything. There's something where the, this family was trying to hold on to something. They're trying to hold, hold on to some type of finance some type of business but they're losing it and it's going to someone in high or uh, someone of high honor and that would be you collective you could be a man or a woman it does not matter but there's something that's being balanced out and these people are still trying to cause still miss and the universe is causing calling judgment in this situation um the still miss are over there's a narcissist or someone out here that's going through some type of ending or this could be the whole family. They're under judgment, some type of epiphany coming out about what someone has been doing behind the scenes. I'm telling you, 
what people have been doing behind the scenes to try and trap you in something that has nothing to do with you. There's some type of plan that was foiled. Uh, so they may have been plotting to have you, I don't know, either maybe go to church, go to school, go to work, go to, go to somewhere so they could end up binding you. There's someone that does some type of energy harvesting um, and he needs or she needs to be around you physically to be able to do this. This could be a king of pentacles wanting to come in and give you some type of friendship. It's probably more than likely not, not genuine. This is someone that has something to gain from you. So I would throw it with caution. Someone may just even, I'm telling you, it's not genuine. Win. This is someone with some type of ulterior motive, so thread with caution. Someone's purpose, I'm telling you, <laughs> someone's purpose for coming around you, being genuine, <laughs> being nice to you, there's a purpose for that. It's because they're coming in with a cup of nothing but sorrow. Sorrows is what I just heard. Someone is trying to manifest some type of ending, some type of heartbreak for you. These people could be working behind the scenes to cause you financial issues because your independence, it bothers these people. Um, it leaves them feeling uncomfortable. These are people that have that feel like you should not be independent, whether you're a man or a woman. The fact that you can provide for yourself, it makes them feel insecure and things like that. So your fun, your financial situation or your independence, your self-sufficiency is something that bothers these people extremely. So they may be sending someone in to give you some type of false friendship. This will be a king of pentacles that's trying to manifest some type of burden for you. The, he is working with a group of people behind the scenes to do this to get this done this is something they've been plotting for a long time but it's like the universe keeps stepping in to cause some type of havoc some type of hindrance in their plans for you all and this is how it's going to keep going now it's i don't know if like the group does not realize that the universe is setting up situations they are not the ones setting up these situations but you know when you're stuck in the matrix you really tend to believe that you have control over something or you have control over other people but the universe is allowing these people to do something uh so that they can teach them a lesson so i'm telling you so they can teach these people these narcissists they're going to teach them what a lesson they're about to be very disappointed there may be something also about them trying to dismantle your strength they don't like the fact that you're someone very strong with a lot of tenacity very calm modest uh you're very professional diplomatic on how you handle things and they may be doing things behind the scenes to get you out of your energy they want you to act out of character right they may want to have you living in fear but in instead the group the fake friends, the family, they're the ones that are living in fear because something keeps backfiring horribly. There's something these people have been plotting for a very long time because in my reads for the past two months, I've been seeing the Wheel of Fortune popping out a lot, okay? A whole lot. So something has been being planned a lot and there's a lot of communications going on behind the scenes. It could be text message, email, phone calls, maybe a mixture of everything. There's a queen of swords that communicates with a lot of people. She does a lot of communications like this woman i don't know she doesn't have time but this is what she does all day every day just send orders out to people or send information out to people they may have to have someone or a group watching you and reporting back to the group and letting them know what it is that's going on these could people could be people that abuse divination so they watch a lot of terror readers to kind of keep up to date because these are not people that have spiritual gifts that are really beneficial to them uh, these are people if they have spiritual gifts they will be uh, abusing them um, one second, please. So I'm going to drink some of my clove tea. Okay. Um, the One of the reads I recently did, I picked up on someone in here or a group hiring. Someone hire a new practitioner. Um, and something wrote backfire. It's like the practitioner they went to, they didn't know that this person was more than likely <laughs> listening. I don't like to expose my fellow practitioners hands so i'm just gonna laugh again because that's what i did the last time when i picked up on that energy what that practitioner did to them it was a feminine woman that did, a feminine practitioner they went to to cause some type of blockages and some type of negativity like they'll block someone's finances block someone's wealth and i picked up on that in the reading i was just like god dang sis <laughs> I'm telling you, there go the wheel of fortune. It's a lot of communications going on about people trying to figure out what your options are, what this king of swords is going to be doing as well when it's in regards to you. Uh, him meeting with you and things like that. Maybe you don't know who this king of swords is. This could be someone in the legal system. But there's a lot of communications going on behind the scenes about you and you and someone partnering up to work together. 
So people be, could be calling, yeah, whole lots, calling, texting, emailing, lots and lots of communication. There's something here about uh, some type of ritual, yeah, ritual, <laughs> some type of ritual taking place because these people are trying to figure out when two people are going to be coming together to have a new beginning and be successful in life together and go after the things they want so that they can move forward in victory and have karma going in the direction that they want to go in because these are two ascended masters that are coming together and people don't want them coming together. The reason they don't want you all coming together, well, there are a few, but the, 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 the hair honcho of reasons is because of a ten of pentacles. They don't want you, the divine being, you could be the feminine. They don't want you receiving the ten of pentacles um, and this masculine leaving a family or this feminine energy leaving a family and coming to connect with you is going to put them in some type of poverty state. Someone may have been receiving something for a long time that is being taken away from them. They may be going to prison as well. Uh, so it's like someone's uh, chapter it's over of them living off the back of someone else. So they've been out here pretending to be wholesome, to be pre pre pretending to be something they're not. Someone may have even built a business off of your identity. There could be a uh, king of pentacles that gave these people some money. And instead of them coming up with their own ideas, maybe they were out here stealing from other people. And now there's some type of case that's coming out. Someone is going to be facing some type of legal uh, charges in the court system because they stole from you. So because they know this is coming, they may even want to come towards you or they're sending this king of pentacles towards you to come and give you nothing but heartbreaks and disappointments. Um, nothing this person is coming towards you with is genuine. Something is planned, is plotted. And you may want to, yeah... It's, it's planned. You may want to keep away from this person. More than likely, when you see them, you're going to know because they're part of this friendship group, the fake friends. They get together and plot other people's endings. Um, so just thread with caution when it comes to these people. Yeah, they have foresight. They all know, right, that, that this is coming to an end. They all know about this heartbreak that's taking place. They all know the game is over. They know your ancestors are all over this. They know that there's someone behind the scenes working really hard to balance something out for a king of swords, more than likely, and a queen of pentacles. He may also be taking... Because I like to see both sides of the spectrums. He may be taking action to block you two from coming together because they know you two are very uh, high ranking, very uh, creative, destined to be financially abundant. So they're trying to steal this relationship. They may be trying to also steal a business from someone or steal finances from someone. Yeah, they're trying to crash your business. If you're the feminine energy, they're trying to crash some type of business that is yours. Uh, you may have something good really going on for yourself, like you've put in a lot of work into something, and they're trying to take that away from you. But this company, or whatever this frivolous company is that was built off of the back of someone else through identity theft, fraud, or whatever this is, because uh, this, this is a company that's filled of, of a lot of toxicity, a whole group of people, a whole family is very toxic, Okay. It's coming to an end, okay? The This period of someone giving to these people, there could be a wealthy man that was giving to these people for a long time. All of that is over. Um, he's not giving to them anymore or he's going to stop giving to them, leaving these people out in the cold, maybe leaving an institution, putting an end to this situation. He may be in some type of karmic situation with a queen of cups reversed, I'm telling you, and this is over. She's about to lose this relationship because this man is walking away from this marriage, this union, whatever this is, this collaboration, standing his ground, deciding to do the right thing. Someone could be going through karma or they could be plotting to take someone that has self-mastered out um, because they don't want you to have options out here. They don't want people seeing that you are someone very intellectual uh, and have a lot to offer. There's something where it's like they're trying to take you out and they're trying to do it in a very sneaky way. It's like they're trying to either invite you to like outings or something, uh, but they're trying to make it seem very nonchalant. Like, hey, you know, or you know, Johnny, right? Yeah, Johnny is having a birthday party. You know, we all used to hang out. He said he wants you to be there. Yeah, he wants he wants you to be there. 
there because he really misses you. Um, he said he hasn't talked to you in a long time. So do you want to come and spend time with him? Well, why ain't Johnny calling you himself? Or why ain't Johnny telling you himself? Um, that's because it's something that, that's planned. Okay? It's something that's planned because they need to be around you physically to harvest off of your energy or to set you up or do something to you so that you can stop moving. At this point, these people are very desperate to stop someone from moving forward. You could be a queen of pentacles. You're about to have everything. If you're a queen of pentacles in the reverse, we're not talking about you. Because a lot of you in the dark community, as soon as you hear queen of pentacles, you say, oh, I'm a queen of pentacles. But the whole time you've been out here trying to destroy someone, not knowing you're under karma. You're under judgment by the ancestors. And everything you've been out here doing has just led to you martyring yourself, sacrificing yourself. But you want to be seen as the queen of pentacles as receiving good karma. No, there's a queen of pentacles. There are two different queen of pentacles, one in the upright and one in the reverse. Uh, one is trapped in a situation. One is a liar. One is very karmic. Um, people um, may be kind of fed up with this woman. There's something she doesn't want to let go of because she stands to lose quite a lot. She's going to be losing some type of ten of, ten of pentacles situation. If things don't go her way, because this is someone that's been receiving some type of financial payout. Uh, this is a woman that's in her mature years. More than likely does not want to have to start over in life. May have been in a company for a long time but misusing the uh, resources of that company or the uh, connections of that company, whatever it is. She's been misusing it for a long time and it's all catching up to her. So in order for her to stay in that situation, she wants to block you from receiving your blessings, your abundance, uh, you being seen and things like that. But uh, the universe is stepping in to take care of uh, business. Okay, this whole group here about to go through a collab. Uh, um, this collaboration, this group, they're about to go through an ending, a tower. Sometimes something is going to be revealed because two people will still be meeting to have this new beginning again. I mean, here goes the wheel of fortune. Things will be balanced out. You and someone may meet and have some type of clarity in a situation. Uh, someone is not trying to force the meeting anymore because I think someone has been out here trying to figure out how they can run into you, how they can meet you and things like that. It is something that's going to happen in divine timing so the more and more effort you put into meeting someone on purpose the more the universe is going to distance you too because that's showing the universe that you're not ready yet once you're ready to meet with them then they're going to make sure that you two come together and have this get together have this closure um so that you two can move forward once you two come together you're going to have some type of big decision to make are you going to be forgiving and moving on um getting together getting in a partnership together or are you just going to be like having closure forgiveness and just going your separate ways that's going to be up to the both of you there's a queen of swords and a queen of wands they are headed straight to poverty i don't know what the heck it is you two have been out here doing i know that both of you have been popping up in the readings a lot they said we tell you not to do something and you still do it. Um, but, honey, we, uh, listen, the Queen of Wands fell right out. The Queen of Wands fell right out. Okay? Yeah, this is the one that's been out here pretending to be a woman of high honor. It's the end of all that pretending. The person that's actually the Queen of Wands, woman of high honor, is going to be receiving what it is that's there. There are two different ones in here. Again, the Queen of Wands, okay? There's one that's very karmic, very delusional. Uh, someone that plays mental games to make sure she gets what it, what it is that she wants. Someone is going through a tower. There's some type of big review going on about this woman, and she's going to have to move on because people see her for exactly who she is. So she's not able to deceive people anymore. Something is going to be balanced out. This is a cold-blooded narcissist. Okay, she uh, didn't I see a queen of wands and queen of swords and they come out together. God dang. God dang. Both of them are like cold blooded narcissists. They are very much entitled, may have been working together. These could be women in a family. They may have hired a practitioner to do you something. There's something about the practitioners these people are going to. It's like these practitioners don't really want to work with these people. These people may have some type of spiritual mark on them that's letting people know not to work with them, not to assist them. So really, these people don't know that the practitioners they're going to are aware of what it is they're up to. Uh, if anyone really chooses to work with them, it's going to be really interesting. So I'm not even going to go in depth into that. Um, they may have found themselves a dark practitioner or narcissistic practitioner. Um, but there's something that's going to be balanced out with them. 
connecting with this person or maybe they already did in the past and something backfired horribly um but these people are still determined to block your work block your commitment block commitments block your effort block your destiny um there's something here is that they just don't want you to be seen and it's a disappointment for these people because everything they've been trying to hide is out in the open they can't really hide it i'm telling you this group the whole community whether this is a karmic couple whether this is a co-coving church organization, whatever this is, they're headed right to poverty and they know it. They thought they were going to be having this success for a long time. This was a short-lived victory from what I'm seeing. These people were dreaming of having commercial success, but it was always going to be at the detriment of you. They were going to keep trying to hide. Yeah, they were going to keep hiding you, keep lying and stealing. And while you're living in poverty and in life, they were going to be out here living the La Vita Loca, having connections with other businesses and people, making a lot of money. And the whole time, their karmic is heck behind the scenes and the universe is stepping in and saying, absolutely not. You're going to, I'm telling you, you're losing everything. Absolutely not. Going to have to cut your losses. There's a woman in here that's going through some type of breakup. I don't know what kind of relationship she's losing. I don't know if this is someone's girlfriend, someone's wife. The Queen of Pentacles typically gives me a wife energy. The Empress gives me a mother energy. So this could be someone's wife. Or uh, this could be someone's girlfriend, or there's a woman that's in uh that's been self sufficient in her whole life. But how did she get the money? Nobody knows. Um, but with this five of cups below her, I would say that this is someone's wife, and this relationship is over because, as you can see, she started off in the ten of cups energy. Now she's a nine, uh, a queen of pentacles, and then it's the five of cups. So there's a relationship this woman was in that's over, and she's having to move on with her life. She's gonna have to stay kind of focused in the present, keep her mind on the person the past is kind of irrelevant at this point because the past is full of nothing but heartbreaks disappointment because of something she did okay not because of anything someone else did but because of something she did so she's gonna have to pull pull put on that those are big girl pennies like we all have to do in life and move on or she can stay out here being broken hearted or being bitter and things like that i'm telling you it's the relationship is being put to rest um, this whole situation of her wanting to isolate someone, have been rejected, she's going to have to put it to rest. Um, uh, whoever this high, uh, high priestess practitioner is that, um, uh, they hire, if they do decide to help these people, they're going to fall ill and something, it's not going to go like they planned. So I would really throw it with caution when it comes to helping these kind of people. Yeah, this is a source It's out here. It's going to lead to a lot of burdens for you too. You may want, for you, you may want to throw with caution when it comes to helping these people. Okay. Um, let me see, make, hoping that I don't miss anything in here. This queen of pentacles, I don't know what's going on with her. There's something about this woman being trapped in something, being very karmy. Someone is very jealous and envious of other people. Even if she knows you, she don't know you. And she thinks for a split second that you have something she does not have, whether it's beauty, brains, material. She does not like you. Someone is being put to rest, basically. Uh, she's going to have to heal, recover. There's something about her mental. Someone could be a heavy drinker with the devil above her. And then that freaking uh, um, uh, 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 four swords. Someone is a heavy drinker and there's something you may need to be cautious of because you could end up falling ill or she could have fallen ill. Maybe something to do with her labor, but you need to put the bottle down. Um, there's something about this woman's mental is not stable right now. It's like everything is being put to rest for her by the universe because someone is very stubborn. They feel very entitled. Someone does a lot of voodoo. Vo voodoo, he do, she do, code do, we don't do because we're light workers. We don't need to do that anywhere in the light working community but someone is very much into doing witchcraft to make sure things go their way that's all someone has done their whole life is a voodoo rituals more rituals that's what she does to balance things out for herself um, make sure other people don't have that victory and she always has the victory but she's gonna have to take a different path someone needs a legal advice like a legal advisor like a, a lawyer and that's been coming out a lot. A lot of these people are going to need a lawyer. When you go to that lawyer, they're going to tell you you need to walk away because something is not going to go in your favor. There could have been some type of ridiculous court case they were trying to bring towards someone. Um, 
it's something where it's like they're trying to deplete you of your resources. So if you have money that you are saving up, maybe you're not someone that spends recklessly, they want you to use up that money so that you can end up in some type of fender bender. Heck, these people are trying to cause you nat natural disasters behind the scenes just so you'll have to use your money and end up in some type of situation that you have no business being in. But your ancestors, again, they're working behind the scenes and balancing something out. You may have a judge or a lawyer working working extremely hard behind the scenes to balance something out. What does that mean? We don't know. I guess the universe will let us know when the time is, but I've, I've picked up on a lawyer. This could be a lawyer or a judge that's yeah, working very hard to balance something out. Uh, these people may be stuck in their mind because you know the truth about what it is that they've been doing. Uh, maybe people thought you were naive. You are gullible, you are dumb, and all of that, but you have absolute clarity about this karmic group and what it is they've been doing, how hard they've been working together. They've been working together with possibly a Sagittarius to end you. You could be a king of swords. You may want to be careful if you're in the court system wanting to balance something out. There's a group that's plotting on you, plotting on taking you out before you can balance something out. Yeah. They're plotting on taking you out. Before you can give an offer to someone, okay? Before you can give an offer to someone, it has these people very much weighed down. Because if you balance something out, these people, they say they're going to lose everything, which they're destined to lose everything anyways, by the means of how they got it. Um, it's what I'm being told. They're going to lose it anyways. Whether it's today, tomorrow, or a year from now, everything they have, they got through illusions, lies, deceit, cheating, stealing, destroying I, I her killing listen they're gonna lose it anyways what the universe is saying something that's false has to be torn down in order for something genuine to be built up so whatever it is they're trying to hold on with their last breath all the efforts the energy they have in their bodies they're still going to lose it at the end because it's not something that's um some, it's not something that's ethical. It's not something that is based on morals, which these kind of people, they don't care about morals. Um, these are people that don't care about karma until karma comes knocking on the door. Um, but something is backfiring horribly from what I am seeing. There's a queen of swords that is trapped in something. And because this is because the truth is out about something they may have been plotting or planning. Uh maybe, uh, maybe she made some type of confession to a uh, king of cups in the past and he's choosing to put some type of relationship to rest, walk away from something because now he knows the truth. So he's, he may have already done this, left the situation to move on with his life because someone told him the truth. They finally stopped BSing him behind the scenes and it was like, hey, yeah, you know, what you think happened is what happened. This is what really happened, right? This is what really uh, is going on. It may have something to do with soulmates or something like that. And I don't know. Okay. I really don't know. But he's choosing to move on and get away from this situation. Uh, a lot of just collaboration. This is like a whole family coming together to collaborate to prevent either like a masculine within the family from moving on. And this whole family is under judgment. The truth is how people are having like epiphanies out here. People are having like some type of rude awakening that whatever they've been participating in, it's not what they think it was or they're not getting what it is they thought. I hear someone saying, I told you something wasn't going to work. I told you that wasn't going to work. It's like they had some type of plan to trap someone. And like the whole time you knew what it is they were plotting, maybe... Maybe you didn't go out for lunch with someone. Maybe you didn't go to church on a Sunday. Maybe you didn't go to work on a specific day. Whatever this is, maybe you didn't go to get your hair done. Uh, maybe you woke up that day and you just changed your mind. You said, I don't want to go. I'm, I don't feel like going today. That was your ancestors guiding you not to go somewhere because there was some type of plot to trap you uh, or have you cut up in some type of situation. There's a lot about like energy harvesting um that is going on so maybe you were supposed to show up somewhere and someone was supposed to uh do some type of energy work around you and you were supposed to get into some type of confusing mental state where you're not sure of yourself because there's something about your self-empowerment that bothers these people. The fact that you're self-sufficient and independent. You don't have to pretend to be like these women have been pretending or whoever this queen of wands, queen of pentacles have been pretending to be. You don't have to do that. You're naturally there. Like you actually put in the work to be independent, right? Uh, so there's something where they're trying to destabilize you in every way, shape, and form. 
whether spiritually, physically, materialistically, emotionally, in any way you can think of, right? They're trying to destabilize you because you being self-empowered is uh, is uh, intimidating to these people because these are the kind, kind of people that th uh, thrive off of negativity, energy harvesting. Um, they like taking joy. They enjoy taking joy away from other people. They take pleasure out of things like that. Um, being Having people living in misery, misery because these are miserable people that don't want to put in the work to heal. They uh, will instead spend their time investing in tearing other people down instead of investing in themselves um, maybe starting a business of their own, maybe going to school, going back to school, learning something new. They don't want to do any of that. They rather get together and plot other people's ending. Um, but there is something that is being balanced out, whether this is a court case. I saw the seven of wands a few times when I was shuffling. Um, whether this is a court case, I saw the uh, justice card as well. It's going to be balanced out both in the spirit and the physical. Something has already been balanced out. Judgment has already been called and has been finalized in the spirit and is manifesting in the physical. So again, whatever these people have been doing, it's over. Everything is being pulled to arrest. As you can see, these people are going from like the Ten of Pentacles, the magician, because this money gives them the power to do a lot of manipulations and things like that behind the scenes, uh, the connections and things like that. All of that is being pulled to arrest. It said that that's it. No more. Okay. Um, but yet the family and the practitioner, they may still be planning a plotting to do something and your ancestors are all over it. Maybe they're trying to send someone in to give you some type of financial handout and it's to trap you. You may have someone that's wanting to meet with you so they can give you some money and they can get you caught up in some type of court case. So be careful with someone giving you some type of large sum of money out of the blues. You don't, you're not well acquainted with this person. It's a trap. Okay, if you accept it, it's a trap. Uh, someone may even be going through karma because they all did something to interfere with your money. Now they're going through money loss. They're going through karma out here. And this is why they want to come in and give you something. You may find people out here that are now trying to be your friend, trying to give you some type of hurt, uh, help. It's because what well, they're burdened and weighed down because there's some type of karma these people are going through. It's like they've done everything to you for so long. And right now they're in like a repetitive matrix is that we've done this let's do it again let's start all over again but it's like i'm telling you they're they're starting all over it's like we've done this before we've done this before let's start it all over again let's mix it up in there pick something out and you know they're trying to figure out what do we do now they're just going to start over because that's all they can do there's nothing new or old they can do that's really going to end anything for you because your ancestors are all over this new beginning they just want you to stay hopeful and keep going for the things that they're telling you to telling you to go for in confidence okay they will be balancing something out for you there's a queen of wands in here baby girl you're about to be put to rest this woman is either still locked up or she was recently locked up and it's going to be released, but she's going to be out here pretending like everything is okay. Everything is not okay. Someone is sick out here. I'm not sure what she's sick from, um, but there's something, something about her mental state as well that's not doing well. Uh, someone is mentally unstable. Someone who has some type of mental disorder. Uh, and she needs to go be seen for that. This is something more than likely she's been hiding because this is like a, a brat walking about the face of earth with a mental disability. Maybe she's been hiding her whole life. Someone think the world revolves around her. May have some type of cl clouded judgment or self-belief that she's an ascended master, but she's uh, not because she hasn't put in the work to be just that yet. Okay, anybody can be an ascended master. You just got to be waiting to put in the work, go through all of the burdens that everybody else had to go through to get to that stage. If you're not willing to go through it, then you can't be taking on that title. This King of Pentacles, baby, I don't know what the heck you did out here, but you're about to be going through it. I don't even know how to emphasize that, but you are about to be going through it out here. I'm talking about loss after loss. Uh, you may be disappointed because something is being put right in your face. It's that you can't pretend something is not what it is anymore. Maybe in the past you were in denial that you were on the wrong team or something like that is what I'm hearing. But you're about to be stepping right into poverty because of something you did. You may be disappointed 
um, because you let someone out in the cold or you partner up with an institution that's very greedy and has a lot of material motives. Whatever it is you all have been trying to manifest and you knew wholeheartedly what it is you were trying to manifest is all a loss for you all. Okay, uh, there could be someone else coming in with a solid friendship, um, but just be very cautious of the people that are coming towards you because there are quite a few narcissists in here. It's like the whole community, the group, they all think alike. This is why they were all okay with coming together and coming up with this malicious plan to take someone out for no reason, no reason at all. It's that we've been stealing from this person for a long time harvesting off of their energy and we've been gaining ab abundance that can only go for so long and once that ends yeah everything you gain off of that is taken away from you this is why you all are losing everything and even while you're losing everything you're still out here trying to plot someone's demise that should let you know like where the problem is but you, because you all are so narcissistic you're not going to see the problem in that, okay? Uh, so there's some women of high honor out here. I don't know what community this is, but you're going straight to either the penitentiary or you're stuck in your mind. You got legal issues coming in for stealing someone's either intellectual property, someone's work, someone's identity. Some, you stole something. You've been stealing something. And whatever that has been coming towards you, it's not coming towards you anymore. It's being kept either in the court system or someone is just not giving to you anymore. Uh, this will have to do with an inheritance as well with that Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles together. This could be some type of inheritance someone has some type of illegal access to. And now it's all over because this person is going through it. And again, this came out, uh, King of Swords, Thrill of Caution. There's some type of plot against you. Um, you may want to be careful if you're in the court system. There's someone plotting or a group plotting against you from taking some type of action to bring clarity in a situation that involves a karmic group. Um, they have a lot of secrets to hide. They may not want the truth coming out. They're, they've been working very hard to block two people from coming together. Um, but there's something. It's like they're, I don't know if they're trying to hide who someone is. Like they don't want a man or a woman to see that someone else is of high honor. Uh, they don't want you being able to defend yourself because these are people. They feel comfortable being able to tell lies. Uh, being able to deceive and all of that. But while they're lying about you, deceiving people about you, lying, uh, cheating and stealing from you, um, they want you to shut up and be unseen and unheard because, hey, how are they going to further their narrative? Or how are people going to believe them if you're able to defend yourself? So this could be something where it's like they don't want you to be able to defend yourself. So they may be doing things behind the scenes to shut you up, but it's not working. Um, but you may have someone that's defending you in secret behind the scenes, and we're going to leave that one at that. Um, maybe I don't I don't know what the heck it is with these people. I don't know what the heck it is. It's like they've been very determined to just force something that the universe has told them time and time again uh, that it's not going to work. There's something where it's like... I don't know if they were going to a specific practitioner before and the practitioner was lying to them and telling them that they were going to be successful in something or they were going to have victory in something. Maybe anyone with two cents will tell you, <laughs> if you go up against a light worker that has done nothing to you, you ain't going to win. There's no dimension where you're ever going to win, especially if it's one that's awakened and know who they are. Oh, baby, they, they'll call judgment in that situation immediately. Immediately, immediately, okay? Uh, there's a king of pentacles in here that wants to have a new bikini, uh, which you will. You'll just have to balance something out instead of coming in with illusions and things like that. Uh, you'll have to let go of the, the toxicity, choose to do the right thing, whatever it is you're supposed to do in your situation to have this new bikini. Uh, you, I don't know what this is, but you're going to have to be practical about whatever decision it is you're making. Um, this new energy you have about yourself is going to require you being practical and being genuine, straightforward, and authentic. I think you're someone that wants to heal. But your narcissism, your toxic ways are too strong is what I'm hearing. But you're working through them. Keep on working through them. You'll get through it. Okay, just like the rest of us had to. 
okay um but i do think there are a few women in this collaboration whether this is a family or not that do go to practitioners this king of queen of swords queen of wands queen of pentacles they all i think either they practice some type of form of dark magic together um i don't know why people think they need to turn to dark i don't understand but you know what the universe you need both for balance yeah that's your universe is big on balance so they're the other side of the of the scale basically okay um maybe your queen of swords is choosing to tell the truth now maybe she may have confessed something something may have been haunting her for a long time so she finally decided to confess something either to a king of cups i think i mentioned that earlier but all of this stuff honey all this chaos all this time wasted <clears throat> excuse me was always going to lead to the same thing, balance, okay? Things moving in the forward direction for who is supposed to. The actual queen of wands is going to be receiving what it is as hers. Whether it's a ten of pentacles, whether it's a business, whether it's an inheritance, they're going to receive what it is as theirs because th there are spiritual work that people do when they incarnate that garners these kind of blessings for them so you can't just come out here because you guys come in numbers and you have connections in places in high places that uh yeah you have connections in high places that you're just going to get what it is that you want it's an illusion nobody cares how many astral projections you do how many resources you have available to yourself who you're monitoring how you're monitoring them the universe don't care about any of that what they care about is that contract has been put in place and they are abiding by that contract. And if you keep interfering, they don't mind sitting you down a few nights so that you can humble thyself and go through the karma that you need to. There's a queen of cups behind the scenes that's living in fear because what? Someone is being seen as genuine. Someone will be in the public eye or this could be someone in the public eye and is about to have some type of very beautiful beginning. And they're going to be able to move on with their life and keep what it is that's theirs. These people are trying to hold on and keep something that does not belong to them. And this is why the universe is stepping in to take it away from them. Because they say, hey, you know, we told you already. You can't have that. That's not yours. They say, oh, we built it ourselves. Yeah, you built it off of the back of someone else. You're going to have to give it back. All the, the, the monthly paychecks you've been receiving to keep a secret or to trap someone, lie to someone... Um, or the, the weekly checks or whatever it is you've been receiving to do magic, a lie, manipulate, cheat, cheat, steal, destroy, whatever you've been doing. It's over. I'm telling you, right into that five of pentacles energy, you are done. I don't know what to tell you. The whole group is a group of narcissists just fighting behind the scenes. They're crying because they're trapped in something. And while they're trapped in this, they are still trying <laughs> They're still trying to take you out. They're still trying to figure out, oh, that's when you know you are a lost cause. That's when you know you are a lost cause. That you are going through all of this karma, but you're more focused on taking someone out. He says, they can't have this. I promise this is mine. We can find another way to cause them financial problems. We can find another way to shut them up. Yeah, the court system is involved. I know you all say you have brothers in the court system friends in the court system all of that is not going to matter when a court case comes up it's not going to matter everything is going to be illuminated and needs to be illuminated about who this ace of pentacles belongs to this emperor or whoever you all have been trying to block has made his decision right and it's causing some type of tower for a whole group they're trying to stay hopeful out here there's a whole family that's going through it I'm telling you. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you in my next read. Stay blessed. Thank you, as always, for watching the Ascended Definition Priestess channel. I definitely appreciate you all for coming back. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.